All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, how are you? I hope you're doing okay. We're back with uh, Greedfall. And we're uh, approaching, or slowly approaching, Hikmet to meet with the governor of the Bridge Alliance. Halt! What's your destination, milady? Just into town. I'm an emissary of the congregation and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, milady. Thank you. Okay. Big old checkpoint. Military outpost, you know. Gotta guard against that frontier to some degree. And hello, here we are. Set up camp here. We got two in the region campsites. You discovered a campsite, this location now, okay. So I can sleep and fast travel. Um, I'm assuming that might be a campsite back there. So we'll, we, we'll probably just have to take like a walk and take the roads to just unlock things and find things. the Hikmet we go. It's a nice beautiful evening. Halt! Your names, titles, and business at hand. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier for D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. Thank you. In we go. Oh, and the first thing we're met with is a traitor. Let's see what you got. Your Excellency, welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet, and always in the vanguard of progress. Okay, well, let's ask about the products. Where do your wares come from? Most come straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here. Yeah, you are the oldest city here. Yeah, let's sell a couple of things if we can. Uh, definitely that. Grease glove, don't really need that. I'll keep these. Alright, uh, we got junk here. Saber, two agility. I just sold that. One agility. Is that a knife? Yeah. Stiletto. Huh. Firearms. Nothing too promising here. Although I suppose we could get this. Regulation pistol. How much is that? 21? We can definitely afford it. Thanks for your visit. Oh wait, you got any uh any special your armors? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, turbans. Excuse me. <laughs> Straight pilgrim's hat.
Nothing too appetizing. Thanks for your visit. Right, let's finally go see the governor. You, you better go and meet this governor without me. We are at war. Ah, I'm right. certain that I can remain calm if I see such a man. The Understood. little one's not wrong. You came to flatter him. The sailor is less likely to cause an incident. But you are the diplomat. And we will go get Vasco. There we go. I thought I saw this. Is it over here? Lovely that I get an accommodation in each city. Hey, uh, hey Vasco. I need you to not cause a diplomatic incident for me. At least they allowed Siora here. Like she didn't have to wait out outside the gate. Wait. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay. Oh, guild cape. It's just a tattered black cape. All right, let's go meet the governor. Only one guard posted outside? That's, uh, that's unsafe. Ooh. Can I? No, I can't go in there. Am I restricted entirely? No, I am not. Let's uh, let's let's traipse around their <laughs> their palace and see what we can steal. Sort of bare bones on the walls there. Basement to attic, as you do. Wait, can I not go through there? Okay. Anything? Besides a ladder. That's probably blocked, isn't it? Oh no! Lovely. Empty, but lovely. And this has an abundance of pillows. Somebody likes being comfortable. no clue as to where I am. Can't go through there. Hello, Governor. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities, even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the Isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. 
Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. We are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city, but we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes. We would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. I'm sure if I can do it. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops as well as our caravans have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them, considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved. You would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? Um, well, we certainly can. Hikmet. Could you tell me a little about your city? Hikmet is the oldest city on the island. We yeah, began construction years, right? of its first buildings 15 years ago, shortly after the discovery of the island. A magnificent city, where the great minds of the time were united in a common goal. Here you could find the best doctors, the greatest engineers, and the most eminent savants. In everyone's eyes, this island has great promise. And Hikmet is the city that allows us to make good on that promise. Okay. And what of this conflict with Teleme on Tirfredi? Officially, we are at war, but we have never waged war openly here. Of course, we did not rejoice when they set up camp on the Isle, and we expected the worst. But it seems that their only concern is to convert the natives into believing their ridiculous teachings. Of course They it represent does. no true danger to us. At least, not for the time being. And to be frank, we have plenty of other concerns that demand our attention. And they probably have no strategic reason to be here either other than the I have to go. resources Look and the conversion. To seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. Okay. Off we go. Let's go help them out with this caravan issue. We're gonna grab Siora since we're dealing with natives. She could very much help us out. Sierra, come along. On all Manawi, do you need something? Uh... The first time you saw me, did you really think I was a native? Aside from the way you dress, you resemble a native. I have never seen an Onol Manawi amongst the Renagse before. Is it so surprising that I made this mistake? I mean, sure, ask her if this singular appearance makes uh, you more attractive. Tell her uh, that you find the resemblance unsettling. No, I understand. And I hope that this singular appearance makes me more attractive to you. Perhaps if your difference wasn't merely physical, but your heart is evidently the heart of a Renaixe. Anything else? Uh, why would I ask about a father? I must leave you. Not See you now, later. now, at least. Ah, uh, Compose Team. Vasco, back to shore with you. Come on. The 
gate is this way. The main road is always a little bit wider. Okay, so we are going... Oh, down here. Uh, but first, let's check out whatever this is. If I can. Oh, that's inside the city. Yeah, it's a door. Alright, well down to go to the outpost, which I think we passed through on our way in, and the caravan didn't actually, like, just drop us beyond it. Talking to the outpost captain, whatever your name might be. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Huh. Hello, Captain. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Okay. Where is he at? Over there? You, sir! I need Hello to speak. There. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. Uh, a circumstance of the attack, about the attackers, about the goods. <sighs> what precautions are you speaking of? You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Mm hmm. Interesting. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Okay. Uh, the attackers, the goods. Were there several attackers? I counted five. Maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them. But their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. So they used magic. Okay. And what about the goods? What were you transporting? Mostly food but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They, they probably must want, want to cut off the, the supply city. lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. 
Yeah, capital is never worth your life. Remember that, kids. Alright, so let's find and examine the attack site. Interesting little roundabout. Wait, can I take this? I can't. Alright, so where exactly are we going? This way? Wait. This way, I think. The caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Uh, where exactly? Through this way. Oh no! Oh god! No, no! Leave it alone! That's way higher level than we are! Here we are. Stay alert. Skull means death. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. Looks like they burned it. Uh, can I take this? Anything up here? No. Hello. Hunting blunderbuss. Well, we got our first gun. Can't use it. But we got it. What's These this? These crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Might be further back with this chest. Nope, these are sticks. Oh, Jesus. Move away. Things are about to get nice. That's good. Green blood. Ah, oh, damn it. No, no. Oh, no. Come on, come on. Oh, I died? Oh, poison! Ugh. Alright. So, back at it. And I hit this again. Here we are. Stay alert. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. These crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where, where are the 
bodies. All right, uh, let's just quickly save. Let's look around. Oh my god, what hit me? Oh shit. Damn it! Sierra couldn't heal me as quickly. Have died protecting their goods. How sad. The wounds are to be caused by stone the kind of weapons that I am They acted quickly and solidly before me. Oh shit. Let's look around. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. I'm wounded by now. Green blood. Oh, they're both, they're both down. There we go. Damn it. Eh. I guess I won't be getting that. Have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Okay, so we'll find the rebels. Over this way. Here. Thank you for the leather. Campfire. Let's make camp. Here now. Why was this man's body arranged like this? There's something in his pocket. You've no magic yet. Drink a potion. Oh shit. Move away. Things are about to get dancing. There we go. Did it stun me? Really? There we go. I'm afraid uh, this trip will be my last. We uh, were very cautious, even ate cold food every night. Oh my god. Every night uh, because the light lighting the fire was too dangerous, and yet I feel as if we're being observed. I am afraid they might attack us. He was uh, in the cave. But whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Ectragal do this as a sort of scare tactic. This is a message for other merchants. Okay, I see. Even though we have, like, no real way of finding them unless we really go looking. Oh my god. idea to hit this beast. Oh, 
shit! It's all right, Kurt. That's dead. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's gonna go down, and I'm gonna go down, and it's just gonna be straight. Lovely. I can't hold, on much hold on. Shut up, Kurt. Oh no! Okay, never mind. I was gonna book it. Oh no. The other one is like right in the way, though. It's like right in the way. I can't even hop up there without fighting it. Oh no! Oh, it hit me. We well. We'll all focus on the other one. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. No matter. Oh shit. Thank you, Kurt. You're running out of energy. Drink a potion. We got both. Sierra is down immediately. Hold on. Got an idea. Book it. Oh god. Move away. Things are about to get There we go. Oh, wait a minute. This is good. Hold on. Uh, it's... Nope. There we go. Resurrection powder. Let's just use magic potions. Come on, big boy. Uh, wait. Oh, that was a health potion shit. Ah, uh, that, that, that helped you, didn't it? That helped you out. Uh, 
Okay. Gotta get up. Gotta get... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There we go. Is that a peacock? Or like a pheasant? There we go. There we go. I didn't want to attack you all, but you just sort of all attacked. I wanted to talk. Oh my god. Okay. Gotta do that again. Shit. We good to go? Nope, they're still down there. You're running out of energy. Drink a pop. Can Oh no, you gl you're glitched. Alright, screw it. Got some gold on ya. Found some of them for sure. Oh shit, there's one like right here. There in a second, Siora. Oh, you're you're good. All right, let's uh, loot this stuff. Now we do skill points. Firearms. Allows you to use pistols. How many do I have? I have that. Attributes. Best rings. Magic damage plus 10. Uh, 
What is this? Uh, melee attacks, stun and armor damage plus 10. Physical damage. I can use Agility 1 stuff now, I think. That's got a hole blown in it. Can't go up there. Oh god, uh, I don't have my, uh, can't really pause that right now to switch either. Uh, I want to bind this. Let's bind that to that. I don't use Stacy that much. Oh, much, much better with this weapon. Let, let's uh, let's fix this predicament right quick. And then we're gonna have to switch that to the axe. And we'll switch this to the rapier. And vice versa. There we go. Oh. Mental resistance, magical damage, or resistance. There we go. Right, let's loot their corpses and be onward. the camp of the rebel natives. The standing men called themselves Donea Exregal. Please, let's try and talk to them. Oh, I, I intended to. I to fight with my brothers without trying to reason with them first. Yeah, they, uh, the only reason I had killed the ones before is because they attacked me first. There we Hello. Go. Don't worry. I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaixe. And who might you be? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugaid Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I have come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lurians only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I'm not talking about warriors, Renaixe, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawi. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors, so why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted. So they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. 
I share your anger against the lions, and I also hope to find our captured brothers. But the Rinaixe also use floating houses to transport things. Your attacks were useless. Listen, if what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances, as long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready, and soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Exregal will march together, and we will free our brothers. I'm just gonna warn the city of the attack. Can you guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. Yeah, they're gonna get massacred. For the simple fact that the, the colonists have guns, and that's sort of the way any colonizing army <laughs> really works. Unless you overwhelm them like the Zulu did, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Alright, so... Ma wait, what? Map. We just kind of went in a circle there. So back to the uh, outpost. I don't think we can fast travel directly from the map, so we're just gonna run on back. Is there anything over here? Nope. Hence why can I walk on to that part of the land? Oh, hello. Did I miss you before? Ooh. Oop. Uh, what do I need? Accuracy 2. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Irons. The Donaya Exregal fight, as my mother did, to free our people from the lions. And now, they are ready for a great battle. I hope they will not end up like my clan. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Rainhild about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Yeah, which is very good. I'm gonna try to get this chest like one more time. Oh shit, no. Run away. There we go. You guys good? We're good, okay. shit. Oh, they just didn't spawn this time? Okay, I just went up through all that saving malarkey to fucking, for fucking nothing, just cuz. Just for the leather. Captain, I have a report for you.
Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, it was not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. Okay. So all that's left is what? Talk to the governor to Leme. Seek him or her out. Say hello. But I think we're going to do that in a moment. After we get in the fast travel. Okay. So, where, wait, where is, was that New Serene? And we're going straight to Hikmet from there, actually no. Let's see if we can, because I, I guess we need to discover stuff before we can just like fast travel straight to it. So why don't we take this caravan? Greetings, my caravan goes. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Shut up. Where would you Here's your ten gold. Take me to uh, San Mateo. To San Mateo, please. Okay. Here we are. What is this? Another? They have their own little outpost out here. Hello, sir. Greetings. What can I do for you? Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city. With the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? Nope. What is this? Is that a, uh... Is that a campsite? Oh, it is! Awesome! So, what was that? Gather companions? Just... Just the three of them. Okay, so I think when we return, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we will speak to the governor of Teleme. So I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.